welcome back. The Godot subreddit has reached 100,000 subscribers. To celebrate this momentous milestone, the Godot devs are hosting an official Q&A with the community on the subreddit. Already some very interesting questions have been asked. Users Simplify impressed me in particular with their list of questions. They wrote a question for each dev and it's clear from their questions they are familiar with each dev's technical specialty and past work. And the depth of the answers provided by the devs reflects this as well. Some highlights of the Q&A so far include talks of official core plugins. User Clayjohn had this to say, they will be treated like any other feature in the core engine, but won't ship with the default editor binaries. That way, we can keep the core engine small and focused on a core set of features. I think this is great news. For dev teams developing multi-year projects, assurance that a plugin will be maintained and updated for the foreseeable future is a must. One question that interested me in particular was an official paid asset store. In my opinion, it will bring professional artists to the Godot ecosystem. It would also make it easier for large Godot plugins and add-ons to be developed as the developer won't have to worry so much about funding and can focus on the technical work. And if Godot collects a small percentage on every transaction, it could provide a reliable source of revenue for the team. Compared to the past, this Q&A felt very positive. Overall, it seems the Godot community is vibing with how Godot is shaping up. Simply put, there is hope for the future. LearnGodot.com is offering its first course, Learn Programming in the Godot Engine. In this course, you will learn the fundamentals of programming in the Godot Engine. Everything will be taught as you go. Use coupon code KAIJU for 10% off your first order. In some surprising news, the Godot team has founded the Godot Foundation. All donations and sponsorships will now be handled through there. Previously, Godot's business affairs were handled by the Software Freedom Conservancy, or SFC, a New York-based charity organization with a strong focus on open source projects. Back in 2014, the Godot founders signed a fiscal sponsorship agreement with the SFC, allowing them to receive donations on behalf of the Godot project. Godot has grown tremendously since then, and now employs multiple people. The needs and aspirations of the Godot project are more complex than they used to be. The team felt it was right to form a new organization that is solely focused on Godot. While this feels like a big change, things will probably mostly stay the same. Quote, governance slash financial decisions were previously made by the PLC with input from the advisor group. The PLC will become the foundation's board of directors, so it will be the same people, but just with a different name. End quote. Just in case you had any doubts, it has been confirmed that documentation for Godot 4 is currently being worked on. Dozens of new pages will have to be created and many existing pages will get a complete overhaul. Documentation is essential for newer and more experienced devs alike. It doesn't matter how powerful a tool is if no one can figure out how to use it. If you'd like to see what pages still need work, I will link the master list in the description. By the way, I've started work on a secret project. If you want to learn more, join my Discord. Link will be in the description.